And then force change there rather than a tactical. Yeah, it looks like he's got a knock, doesn't he? Just looks a bit groggy, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, here's a ch opportunity here. Abin Bowler is self-threatening and he scored the first goal here at the Medeski Stadium. And this man looks very good indeed. It's Yola Abin Bowler who scores the first goal for St John's. What a cracking goal it was. The crowd are loving this. There's a decent turnout here from St John's. And Abin Bowler, well, he's looked threatening all the way through. And it's fair to say, John, that... Uh, this is probably a deserved first goal for St John's. Well, I think it is. They've been in the ascendancy. You don't think he's going to have a chance from that angle. I mean, I think it's uh, Poppy Pritchard we'll pushing him sometimes. Yep. Whereas there's other players like maybe Grobelar, for example. Oh, did you play with Bruce? No. No, he wasn't. No. David James. Top. Well, yep. here he is, Alfie Nash uh, Elash away. Good save. Ah, oh. It's a goal for Joshua Elash. The keeper made the first save, but yet again, it's the Chantry defence has been cut through. And it's the it's the long run from midfield. And Elash puts this one home, John. Yeah, he's been really, really good, I think, Josh Elash. You know, as much as the uh, plaudits were going to Abin Bola with the opening goal, I think Josh Elash has really led yeah. the line. And I think you know they, they have left themselves a little bit too exposed of 1v1 with the likes of Abin Bola. Oh, what a what goal, a and it's from distance. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's Lewis Brown. What a shot this is, and that's caught everybody by surprise, including the commentators. We were all expecting the cross back in, but Brown puts it straight into the top corner. And what a goal for St. John's this is, John. Well, it's emphatic, isn't it? Header out, look at them, they close down. What a shot that is. Oh, keeper can do nothing about it. Lewis Brown on the books of Arsenal. It is a, what is it, nearly 10 o'clock here. It's oh, brilliant. Oh, here's a chance, Abin Bowler is away. Nobody's going to catch him. Can he finish? Oh my goodness, can he finish indeed? What a goal. St. John's go 4-1 ahead. And there's hopes all around. The coach is on the pitch. And every player comes in to huddle what is a very popular player. And no wonder, with those skills, Abin Bowler, oh, this is a wonderful finish. All right, this is all about Harrison Dujiak on the ball there. Brilliant, brilliant in midfield. Great touch, great awareness. Superb vision. Lovely little touch from Abin Bowler. Both the left and the right hand side. Oh, he's oh. gone in. Absolutely blasted the corner straight in at the goalkeeper who wasn't aware yeah. and it's 5-1 and it's the number 10 for St John's oh, sorry not the number 10 we'll get his number in a second here it is again it's Lewis Brown the number 5 yeah, the his again. second goal so two goals and a yellow card and well that says something when you've got the confidence to say you know what I fancy this is why these two teams have made it to the final yeah. from over you know there's, I think it's about 700 teams it's, have entered it's there. phenomenal the journey and the route here and the culmination of having a fantastic occasion out here at the Majewski Stadium on a superb pitch there's Here's a chance for Elash. Elash oh my goodness what a chance and how wonderfully taken that was Josh Elash scores his second of the match and uh, well you get a one-on-one -on -one, you just decide well I'll just pop it into the top corner so it's like 17 for the season in this competition is it 17 for the season absolutely I mean, that's a great right. return yeah, but again it's your man number seven isn't it yeah I mean he's just been brilliant Harrison Dujiak really has been brilliant I think he's been instrumental in everything good. I'd love to know how many assists he's had out of the six goals. Yeah. 